Dun, 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 dun. Here we are again on one. That's the number one, by the way. One more block.com in the nether, and that's what this video is about. In 1.17.1, we also had resource worlds, and that's going to end. And this 1.17.1 resource world, we've upgraded to 1.18.1, and it is now gone. <laughs> Arrivederci! We've removed it, it is purged. Instead, we have created a completely new temporary resource world for the nether, made with the new 1.18.1. So whatever benefits that might come with, whatever new awesome generation it could create, that's this resource world. But this is also going to get deleted. The temporary resource worlds are kinda gonna go away because we are going to have permanent worlds instead. The mining world is going to end up as the wilderness and the nether is going to be the nether but with a little bit of magic sparkled on top of it so it will hopefully look a little bit cooler than vanilla. And the same is for the end. It will either be the end, or if we can do something cool with it, we'll try that. So, why? Why do you ask? Why bother, right? Why go through the trouble of making resource worlds? Why go through the trouble of making them permanent? Well, I have the answer for you. <laughs> the reason is uh, to fight grief to prevent massive farms and to hopefully help players do some cool things. So all of that combined means that we would prefer a temporary world because they could just mine to their heart content and not worry about how it looks or get staff to complain like, hey, keep it pretty. But that's kind of changing. That's the old fashioned way from season two of One More Block. And we are now on season three. This is the modern new era. At least that's what we're trying to build. So a resource world is kind of outdated. We don't have to reset. It's fine if people make some farms. It's fine if they mine. And it's even better if everybody helps make it pretty. The world is bigger. There is more in it. There is no reason to have a resource world. We can now just go and mine somewhere in the nether. So there's a little but, but I'll get to that soon. It's a little something about the world border, but I'll get to that in a second. The end um, is very cool to build in. People can make amazing bases, and now that option isn't there. So what we're going to do is remove uh, the resource world option and make it permanent. So people can mine, can build a cool spawn, and keep fighting the same dragon over and over, and all that sort of stuff. And I think that's important. And that's the same for the wilds, the wilderness. We are going to keep the general world, of course. And you can use your resource uh, that you have, you know, hoarded and gathered up. And uh, pick that up and take it to the new wilderness so you can continue building there. You don't have to start over. If you want, you can just go there with an empty inventory, I guess. But you can find the spot and then build some awesome new bases there. And it's completely generated with 118.1 and then soon with 1.19. How awesome is that? We will have the deep dark. <laughs> and now the nether today, the last one of the resource worlds has been reset and um, it is gonna be eventually a permanent world. So while it's temporary, go ahead, mine everything you can get. It's all yours. It's all generated in 118. Okay, the little but, the border that I mentioned, because 119 has already been announced and the Petrock edition already has 1.19 um, experimental uh, toggles and whatever, so uh, uh, skulls or whatever they're called, the wireless redstone stuff, the warden maybe, um, the frogs and all that stuff. It's already in Bedrock if you know how to join the beta and toggle the wild update. Um, it implies that maybe spring season 2022 is a great time, and that's just a couple of months away. So by the time we're ready, 
building our worlds and we're ready to let people build and do all that stuff and we've already had creative people help out with a spawn and make things pretty we're ready for another upgrade should we reset no of course not we just work really hard so we're gonna start kind of really tiny just pretend an infinite world of minecraft um and then we're gonna shrink it up into a little spawn area so while you might run into a border a lot of times that's only during 118 wink wink that's a hint and with 119 we have new chunks and they will generate below ground and everything so the deep dark is going to be there and um, it's all going to be awesome plus we might know we might know more about some other features too but i'm not sure i can talk about that yet so so we have a resource world and we have new mobs and we have a cool area and you can explore all of it everything is new all the resources are there but Flores, what about the future well i already winked a couple of times i think it's pretty cool if in the future we don't have to worry about world borders we can just let terrain generate as new versions come out and blend well together because mojang has recently with 118 with the big cave update part 2 introduced blending <laughs> if there's an old and a new chunk it will try its best to make them blend well so the old-fashioned oh this is new world generation <laughs> A hard cut you get those ugly weird cliffside things in the middle of a terrain in plains when there suddenly is supposed to be a mountain and that has been addressed so i think that is fantastic news that is so cool wow there's so much lava here all of this stuff is lava Ooh, that's crazy I love these 3D biomes. Did you see that? I just went from uh, the red to this sort of blue biome shift by just going a little bit diagonal. You see that? That is so awesome. Yeah, this nether update is pretty nifty. Hey, what's up, buddy? Aw, oh, you're crying. Don't worry, you'll be in the new permanent world as well. You're a little jittery. It's the nether, why are you cold? That's weird, man. That's so weird. Ah, oh, it's beautiful here. It's beautiful. This is such a nice place. This is the spawn. You can go right through it. You might have to wiggle your way through this awesome build and then pick the type of biome you want to explore and mine. And trust me, this, this seed that we've picked for this one has a lot of stuff in it. You have no idea. Okay, okay. I am getting excited and distracted by the beautiful new nether. The end is new. The nether is new. The mining world is new. And soon, when we are a little bit more stable with 118, we've worked out all the kinks, we've updated all the configuration files, um, you know we did our job and we're ready to like pick on something big again that will be the wilderness it's it's closer than you think probably <laughs> and then with 119 we're gonna like double it up so to say we we have even more plans so don't worry if you're a survivor you can play in survival in all these worlds as like when they're permanent worlds and you can enjoy it as a survivalist and if you just want to like mine, don't worry, there is enough space, there's going to be enough space in these worlds that you can mine the resources that you need. Hopefully you'll do it in a way that keeps the world a little pretty, but it's a massive world. You can go all the way to minus 60 and minus 32 or plus 15 or something. And there is going to be a lot of stuff left for other people to not even notice that somebody has been mining. So I think that's okay. And then for our builders and our team members and the build team and our developers and everybody that's helping behind the scenes, 
we have spawns to build, paths to make, custom trees to place. We can make everything pretty and we have the resources to protect it as well. So I think we can do that. We can, we can clean up version 2 and prepare version 3 and that's the stage where we are right now. And then we can work together as a community to build awesome things. There's going to be a video about us inviting you, the survival player, to help us out in creative mode once or maybe twice a month to build at spawn. So what you do on the server could be part of the history of the server. Your custom trees and paths and builds could be part of the spawn area. And we're going to start small. We're going to start with a couple of chunks here and there. And then eventually, over the years, we're going to have like this massive spawn area, hopefully with beautiful builds and an experience for new players to come and explore and go like, wow, this is pretty. I want to build like this too. I want to survive in this scary nether. I want to find new cool things that is, that is made by other people. So join us and have fun and be a good person <laughs> and you'll end up in creative with us helping make awesome things and you will still have time in survival to build awesome things and show off your skills even further wow is this just one massive lava lake what it just keeps going i gotta find Ooh, there's the other one. I didn't want to spoil this, and I just did, that the other one is so close by. Well, first one to find it has all the loot, I guess. Should I should I do something here? Where is a chest? Where is a chest hiding? Do you see a chest? Let's do something cool. Are there no chests here? Uh, you're here ready to barter, but I am looking ooh that's nice yeah i uh i wanted to put something cool in a chest but if i don't find a chest what the heck what the heck come help oh my gosh i was about to give up Woo! all right let's get a beacon let's get a totem of undying and a cool sp oh phantom spawn egg nice all right this is loot for somebody that knows how to get here if you watch this video you can be the first to find this how do you recognize you found the right chest hmm can i do something like um like a red candle if i need flint right uh don't worry this video is over in a couple of seconds there if you find a red candle next to a chest you know this is the chest from the video if you watch this video all the way to the end and you made it here thank you so much i i'm gonna reward you if you're the first to find this chest this is on one the number one not the o and e but like the number one more block.com one more block.com and you can type slash nether and then explore and find this chest and this stuff is yours at least while well, this is a temporary world because like all these other last couple of videos we're going to make permanent worlds and it's going to be so awesome and why because you're awesome and you're an awesome builder and you're going to play survival and sometimes help in creative mode and i think we're going to have a really fun server. We've been here for like 10 or 11 years. Let's make it 12, 13 and 14 together, right? Let's make it even awesomer. Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Bye. Wait. I thought I was going to die, but I forgot I was in um, spectator mode. I'm, I'm stupid. Peace out.